Well, hello everybody, and welcome to show 73 of Iratopia's Wrestling Domination and IWD Chronic Pain. And they... Supernova Tiffies! Well, I haven't even said my name yet, it was Iratopia. And that's Supernova Tiffy, she interrupted again. Anyway, and we're making his way to the ring right now is Tiger for his triple threat match with Grimhold. That big dude that's close, and none of will tell you after the break. Well, hello there, and welcome to Iratopia's Wrestling Domination. This is Chronic Pain, show 73. Game is Pro Wrestling X, currently in early access on Steam where you can buy it as you can see from the link on the screen. Me, Ivatopia and my wife, who's going to be helping out with this, have nothing to do with the game other than buying it and playing it and enjoying it. And I'd also like to add the opening music you can hear right now is from the title screen of the Pro Wrestling X game itself. Hope you enjoy this show. And we're back and of course against Teodore, no more contender spot for the stream title, slot 3. Then we got the stream championship on the line, later striker and Ivan Reeves, Ivan Reeves getting a title opportunity. And we got S Blaze vs Bryce for the IWD World Championship belt. And making his way of course is Teodore with Grimhold in the ring. And like that, whoa that's you know, Ivan Reeves taking on striker. Last time they faced was Carnage 2 in that hellish Chamber of Hell match, wasn't it? What's your thoughts on it Supernova Tiffy? I really hope Ivan wins because he's really good. What about your thoughts with Striker and that after they went from Helen back at Carnage 2? I don't really care about Striker. That's a bit mean. He was a, 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 a world champ. Out of Ross. Ivan and Striker, I'm the one, and here comes somebody. Theodore. It's such a relief that the legendary Theodore does not have to worry about Gary constantly, Gary beating me up, attacking me, but, you know, being that slimy scumbag he is going after me time and time and time and time again. Because after tonight, and I win the extreme title opportunity, get that other slot, I would be in that ring against the extreme champion, Striker, in the next review. And it also with get Gary. Oh, fudge. Of course, that was pre recorded by Theodore. And what's your, what's your thoughts? What he had to say? I was wondering what he was going to say, what he was all fudging about. Well, it, it dawned on him. He's saying basically, oh, uh, I finally got away from Gary beating me up time and time again. No more Gary, no more Gary. Once I win tonight, I'm, I'm going for the stream target striker. And of course, Gary, who's already won a slot. That's what he's all fudging about. He's like, oh, that means Gary's going to beat me up again for win tonight. Oh, I thought he got cut off. And that's why no. I said, oh, fudge. And we're going to the back Gary. now for Grimho. Pre recorded. Tonight, Grimhold will destroy the monster, the Rocky Tiger. Grimhold will destroy the legendary Theodore. And I will meet you at the next pay per view, Crusher. And together, we will destroy Striker. Together, we will destroy the insane one, Gary. And then it'll be me and you looking back at each other, my good, good friend. And then I'll let the better man win. Sorry, let the better monster win. And you know what? It's gonna be very grim for you, unfortunately. I'm sorry to say, grim. And we're back from that message from Grimhold. Basically, he's saying he's gonna win tonight. And we also know Crusher was the other guy who won the other slot. So he's saying basically he's gonna destroy uh, Striker and and uh, and also destroy none other than. He's saying one Gary, and then across the ring from him will be his friend, Crusher, and there'll be monsters going at it. What's your thoughts on that, Supernova TV? Well, it is going to be grim for somebody tonight, but it might be grim for Grimhold. Especially if he loses, he's got to beat Teodor and, of course, Tiger. What's your thoughts on this match who's going to win? I kind of want Tiger to win, because I feel like he's the underdog in it. Sp speaking of the underdog, as you call him, uh, the guy with the claws, not claw himself, Tiger, is up next in a pre-recorded message as we get a pin. Break. This is my opportunity to prove I'm no longer a rookie. This is my opportunity to get these claws out as I will fight, scrape and crawl to that title. I will win that slot tonight. I will beat the monster Grimhold. I will beat the legendary Theodore. I will be two of the greatest stars this business has to offer. And I will go on to face three more great stars. Stars known as the Showstopper Striker. The first and only ever IWD World Champion, Extreme Champion at the same time. I will go on to beat the insane guy, the first ever IWD World Champion of all time, I will go on to defeat Karusha because I'm more monster than you can handle, baby. Wow, seems Tiger's got a lot to prove, but a lot of confidence. What's your thoughts? Like I said before, he is the newest guy, so with the people in the ring, he is the rookie out of all three. But Definitely. I also think that's why people are going to underestimate him. Definitely, but at the same time... Oh, he's getting pinned by T... He's pinned it up. What's going to be allowing it? Oh, he kicked out. 
Because he knew he was going to kick out. I was going to say, out of them, though, remember the executioners had Tiger as one of the last members and Teodor. So out of the people in the ring, Teodor's going to know him better than Grimhold. And they could use it to advantage. And we know how sneaky the legendary Teodor is as we go into the back to listen to a message of Crusher. Of course, Grimhold's friend. Let's go to him now. Championship gold at getting closer. I'll be able to wear my stream title after I've eaten the spinal fluid of the insane one. After I have destroyed and squished the eyeballs of Tiger before I skin him alive and wear his skin as a rug as I warm coat. That's my only regret that Tiger will lose to my friend Grimhold and instead I will have to make do with Striker. As I look across the arena at my friend Grimhold and if you will not step down that I know you won't we will explode the planets, blow the universe up as we go head to head and the impact of the time and cosmos will explode as they've never seen such monsters, such a force collide with such velocity as we will, as I will crush you in that very instant. Sounds like someone's gonna get down with the bad self. Yeah, wow, time and space exploding. Colliding. Yeah, and you see that move before we go to Sir Dave very quickly. Uh, Tiger got caught by uh, Grimhold and into that, was it like a Batista bomb or something? It was mm. awesome. Yes. So Dave and Hell's people respect that. Tonight, we've got Ivan Reeve versus Strike with Extreme Title. Technically, this is a rematch from Carnage 2. The big difference is, the very big difference, these two aren't going in there this time to kill each other. So we found out, and I apologize wholeheartedly that I didn't believe you, Ivan Reaver. I apologize that I thought you attacked Striker. All I've is pointed you, but apparently it was falsified. We still do not know who's done it, and I will get to the bottom of it. I promise that. I promise that to you, Ivan Reaver. I promise that to Striker. And I apologize that you two went in there trying to murder each other, thinking the other one wants to murder each other. So hopefully tonight, this is an apology match. That's why it's a title match for you, Ivan Reaver. And hopefully tonight we'll get a good old-fashioned, the pure wrestling match between you two without the hatred. A respect match. I hope this is what it's going to turn into. And this is all i got to say about that. I am Sir Dave. I'm your commissioner. And respect that, people. I'm so glad Sir Dave apologized. I wonder if Ivan will accept it or not. Speaking of Ivan, we'll be going to the back to listen to his thoughts in a minute. Hopefully you don't. I think you will. I don't know. As this match continues... Oh, did you see that? Who do you think he whipped him into Grimhold and he's getting a power driver to say after this. The fact is, the whole company is sucking up to me right now. After what happened, they all blame me. They were basically going to put me in the state. They didn't care. They, they, no one cared. And so, Dave, your apology? I know you mean well, but the fact is, it's too little too late. As for Striker, you're not going to apologise for what you tried to do? Because what I did in the past? Well, screw you. And basically, that's what's happened tonight. I will screw you by taking your belt off you. And you know why? It's something that you should be uh, thankful for. I put you in this business. I trained you. And don't forget, you would be where you are today. You would not have been beating me at Carnage 2 if it wasn't for me bringing you in. You would have not have been the IWA two-time world champion. You would not be the current extreme champion. Remember that. You owe me. Wow, it seems that uh, I've had a little bit of the way been treated over the past month as plus. Well, longer than that. Well, I'm not one of the ones sucking up to him. You are? I'm not one of the ones sucking up to him. I believed him. Well, you're probably sucking up something else to him. As we go to strike yeah! the back. Here we go. Here we go. It's the show stuff. Last week, I have to say, I was very annoyed. And I may say some things I regret aimed at Ivan Reaver. I apologise for what I said, but you do not, and I repeat, you do not sit there and say you're going to screw me tonight, because if you do, I'm the showstopper and you can't handle me. Remember that, Ivan Reaver. Pinfall. And we're back and the match is over. I believe Tiger pinned Teodor. Yay, he took, I was right. Yeah, but as he took a massive boot from Grimhold, but it wasn't enough. He had to hang in there just in time to go to the match replays. So we, we, it's going to be Striker versus Gary versus Crusher versus Tiger. At the next preview for the stream title, so he's got a chance to be the you stream never champion. Did say who you wanted to win? Uh, Tiger! Cha ching! <laughs> that doesn't count! Look at this move, he got caught what, as he's running and he's getting a vicious move. And How did Tiger get up from that? He's taking I a told beat you in here. I'm going to underestimate him. Supernova Tafiwa's right. I, so, is this the, where it happened? Nova Boom! Tafiwa's Beautiful brain buster. Right. Oh, the move was done by Grimhold! It cut uh, Teodor open! 
Look, two! And as he hit three, he gets a boot. He kicked him just on three. It was actually Grimhall's move that won the match. It wasn't even Tiger's own move. Wow. Well, a win's a win. And of course, the next match is none other than Striker the Showstopper versus Ivan Reaver. It's Reaver time, baby. It's stream championship belt. Is on the line. And Ivan's making his entrance here and now. Who do you think's going to win this one? I don't know. I'm mixed. Because he's Ivan's got a lot to prove after losing to Carnage 2, and of course, Striker's got the advantage of winning at Carnage 2 over him. But Ivan's had the weight of the world on him, everyone accusing him, and now it's like been, you know, released. Striker's still technically just got lost the IWD title, and he was very upset with that over getting screwed by Bryce last week. And of course, um, with S plays, well, the last few weeks or so, him and S plays and Bryce scenario. And it's also on, on Striker's back now. We don't know who attacked him. Up until this point, he's like, Ivan attacked me. I knew Ivan attacked me. And now we find out it's Ivan, so who attacked him? So someone's out there. It put him up, or tried to put him on the shelf and end his career. Mm. And tried to end his career and that, and we don't know who it is. And that person is still out there. I kind of think it was Bryce. Why would you think it's Bryce for? Because look what he did to his brother. If he's willing to do that, what else is he going to be willing to do? Yeah, but his brother's got all that hatred from years ago, I guess. I don't know what their deal is. And the oh, That's just the way Stryker. I feel about it. Here comes to show Sapper. Well, Striker's not does, uh, gone after him and excused him of that. He wants to get revenge for costing his title. So I don't think Striker thinks it's him. But the thing is, is he got the back of his head now? Like, who tapped me? As he's in this match, he's going to be distracted. Is uh, Has he let go of that hatred he had for Ivan for it, what he thought attacking him when he didn't really attack him? Has he Probably still got the hatred uh, from the past? Has Ivan forgiven him for trying to kill him in the ring and in the chain match when he believed that he was the one and all the people turning against him? Is this going to be a pure wrestling match like Sir Dave said? Or is that hatred just still there with these two? I kind of really want Ivan to win. Well, if he does, he'd be the stream champion. It'd be the first time he ever won it. He's always nicer when he wins. <laughs> That's the whole point of the, 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 what he said earlier with the sucky thing. Hey! 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 That we mean? I will cut you. Oh, look at that amazing Pele kick to Ivan's head. Mm. Okay, Ivan's getting hit in the head now. And he's getting power slam. Oh, so far this is all Striker. Striker's using speed to his advantage here. And we know he's frustrated after losing the IWD World title. Well, yeah, anybody would be. And looks like he's taking out an Ivan. Well, yeah, it's the closest person to him. Ivan needs. Oh, here we go. Ivan's uh, doing a comeback. He's whipping into the ropes. He's doing. Oh, beautiful! Lion oh, to like a moonsault where he smashed the knees into his head and uh, they both got together at the same time. These two are so quick and so resilient. Mm. Takes it down with a jawbreaker. He's whipping him into the corner. Oh, a nice shot to the. the uh, right to the jaw, followed by a beautiful drop kick. A couple of nice uh, square shots to the jaw then. And again. Is he going for the same thing? Oh, he's got him by his head. Oh, he's using the slight power advantage he has over Striker. Come on, Ivan, you can do it. Oh, he's, he's doing a bit of. Uh, he's outmaneuvering Striker. He's using a bit of his own speed against him. Trying to stay one uh, foot ahead of him. And he set him up with a jaw break into the shop shooter. Striker taps out here and now. We have a new stream champion. What's Stryker's your thoughts? Striker's not going to tap out right here. He's too. Resilient. Proudful. And resilient. <laughs> Okay, Ivan's going to the turn bolt. He's going high. And he's going for a close line. And we're going to... Oh, we're in the back now. Listen, Bryce the best. Let's go to him now. Tonight, I get my world title match because the best in the business should be a world champion. And guess what? Guess what? That money I paid that ref last week. Oh, that was the best money I ever paid him. Remember that, striker? And as for you, Sir Dave, you can't touch this. And we're back quickly, Striker. It does a snake eyes to Ivan. Did you hear that? Bryce paid the ref last week. See, I don't put anything by him anymore. So because... basically, the winner of him and Striker is getting normal tender match for this week. So instead of defending his stream title, Striker could have been going for the world title this week. As he's caught open with a beautiful drop kick by Ivan. That was perfection, that was. And basically, what happened last week, uh, Bryce was outside the ring. I think it was like a count of six. Or so. Oh, we're getting a pin. One side, we're getting a pin. Two. Is it over? Oh, no, not quite. And basically, it was like count of six or seven. Uh, uh, Striker did an amazing, like, moonsault outside the ring. Took him out. 
basically got uh, uh, he hit him so hard it bounced back in the ring so he went out after after him the ref should have stopped the count at that point should have restarted the count even but did he restart it no he well, carried on know why. he carried on as Bryce got in the ring and Stryker who literally been outside the ring for one second out of the 10 seconds got counted out and lost the match and you notice how he told us that why Stryker's in the middle of a match oh so if Stryker hears it's going to distract him I don't know if he's heard it or not but, he but just that's hit. not an excuse for Stryker to lose either. No, but basically he's trying to get inside his head. It's mind games on Bryce's part. Speaking of which, we're going to Sir Dave in the, in the, in back in the sack. And, he, and Bryce just said, Sir Dave can't touch him. Let's see if Stryker... Uh, Sir Dave's got anything to say about that. You are correct, Bryce, the best, when you say I cannot touch this. You know why? Because I went to it and powering the refs. Decision is final when it came to that match. You made sure it was ironclad that contract. Whatever the ref said, did, went. And you paid him as you just admitted it, and I can't do anything about it. But guess what, Bryce? Karma's a female dog. Remember that and respect that. Wow, Karma's a female dog. What do you think that means? Really? What? That's what Sir Dave just said? Wow. There's so many words you could have used other than that. Basically, Karma's coming to basically slap Bryce at some point. Okay, Ivan, what's Ivan doing? He's trying to play some mind games with Strike, trying to use the speed advantage to get him out of the ring. What's this about? He's got Striker. Oh, I see what he's doing. He's trying to use the security rail to his advantage. <laughs> Too bad he didn't see that one coming. Well, I think he tried it a little bit earlier and Striker reversed it with a couple of kicks to the head, so <laughs> it didn't really work out for Ivan earlier, but did now. Oh, and this ain't going to work out for him. On the, oh, on the concrete, people! Brave us on concrete. We're on six people. You don't get back in the ring. Seven. Seven. And Eight. Yeah, and they're both back in. Whoa. Please don't do a count out. I don't like count outs. Okay, I was, uh, I guess Ivan wants to maybe brain bust him on the the steel. As we'll be going to the back in a minute, I believe, to listen to Happy Man. But before that <gasps> Oh he blocked the chop Caramba. Drop kick on the outside. Okay, let's go to Happy Man now, I believe. Now in fact. <laughs> what is this? I really getting a title opportunity at my belt. That will not stand. That is a load of ball. That is proving time and time again. So Dave picks and chooses and cherry picks his favorites. Ivan and me were not favorites. Now everyone's sucking up to Ivan, including Supernova TV. And that is why Sir Dave is giving him this title match. It will not stand. I tell you that for nothing. You can't outsmart the longest reigning extreme champion of all time who soon will be two time sad days people i don't suck up to anybody except for ivan i don't suck up to anybody anybody at all well you do with him he has a smile on his face okay you're gross <laughs> and i don't oh, what a like shot to strike. dave on anything what a shot to strike! He makes up his own mind because he has a brain. I'm like, oh, look at him! Did you see that? That was incredible. Mm. That like moves so dirty outside. But they're on six. Get back in the ring. <laughs> they're both around and going there. Whoa! This has been a match so far. Mm. I don't know who's winning really. It's been so back and forth, so back and forth. What's your thoughts on basically what Happy Mom was saying mm -hmm. then? I just told you. Well, the other thoughts on it. I don't like him. Oh, you know with that? Oh, RKO. He's a jerk. Yes. Why? Because he thinks I suck up to people. Well, he also thinks that basically I'm going to get a title opportunity at his belt at the moment. Yeah, because of me. Okay, what they're doing is he's blocking him. And I don't influence her, Dave. Speak. Oh, gotta go to the back now. Listen to Espo's an amazing brain bus that Ivan is cut open all over the place. Whoa! Like so Dave may not be able to touch this as you put it Bryce the best just like how Grasshopper took Claw out last week so he's not here tonight I'm betting you probably have something to do with that too because it seems that you're paying people left right and center to get this opportunity and that that is all it is remember that that is all it is an opportunity of a lifetime opportunity that the fact that you will be very privileged to be in the ring opportunity of the fact I will beat the living hell out of you and nothing more this bell stays with the champ and the champ is S Blaze you are all privileged to witness this tonight. 
Wow, did you hear that? S Blaze basically saying the only opportunity you're getting tonight is basically a beating from me. The belt staying with him. What's your thoughts on that? Hey, you never know. Look what happened with Tiger. Okay, he's whipping Ivan. Strikers. Uh, okay, what's the count on? One three. Oh! How did that, that get? <laughs> how did that came out of nowhere with a candlestick stick and Ivan uh, drop kicked him in the face? Does that mean this is a disqualification? I think it's gonna go that way. If he gets a good shot on Ivan, and there's the good shot, people. So Ivan wins the match by DQ, but he's just lost the opportunity to stream title. That's what's what Happy Mom's going on about you. You know how dare you have an opportunity to my thing and come out and make sure he didn't get it. I think he should still get it. Oh, Ivan's reversing him. He's got the arms hooked. He's going for a backbreaker, people. On the stage. Crowd's going wild. Oh, Happy Man went for a, a low blow and he got caught and brain busted. Almost out of his boots, people. Oh, he caught that low blow, though. Nobody wants that because then he has smelly feet. What? Happy Man probably has really smelly feet. Nobody wants him to be knocked out of his boots. Okay. That was a bit random. You keep saying, oh, you're going to knock him out of his boots. I, no, don't. I said it one time in this, this show. You say it all the time on almost every single show. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Okay, back to the match. No, I don't. Because they're yes, under do. high. No, I don't. They're under top. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Stop it. Yes, you do. Stop it. Okay, here he goes. He's swinging at Ivan. Oh, Ivan's just taking it. Ivan's swinging back. Go oh, get him back. And again. Oh, he blocked him as happy went for him. Drop kick to the face, people. This he is dangerous. Fell. This is dangerous. Oh, he went for a low blow, he missed, and he gets another drop kick to the face. Happy Man's gonna fall off that edge if they don't watch it. Oh, he caught that low blow, though, and Ivan Dunn was walking off it after that low blow. Oh, Ivan's spitting blood up, he just got hit in the face. And a beautiful, another third drop kick to the face. And Ivan is bleeding, he's already wrestled. And a fourth drop kick to the face. I can rumba. He's wearing Happy Man's face out with them feet of his. And he's trying to wear Ivan's balls out, unfortunately, for you. pretty big, too. Looking at it as he's going forward. What do you mean oh, by that? Okay, oh, out of nowhere, people. You were so gross. What are you talking about? Oh, another one. This guy, every time he hits you there, he's got to hurt you. And he's like, don't get that tonight. Wow. Got him You're high. Gross. You going don't for, know what hey, I do. Brain buster. Oh, he's right near the edge. And he's bleeding. Happy man is bleeding, people. And another low blow. Ow. He's blocking it. a little snake. He's going, he's pulling the tights a little bit into it. Pulling power driver, people. He's kicking him and Happy Man's feet are hanging off the edge here. And he spears him into the Shikul. Well, I wouldn't call that a Shikul. Well, it is a Shikul rail, really, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, Ivan's just counting himself. He's trying to embarrass Happy Man. <laughs> he tried to count. He's not official match. I Ivan's counting. He's like, I'm getting a win today. <laughs> Setting him up again for another brain buster. He is wearing Happy Man out. He's got out him. He spears him off the edge. Oh my fudge! Do you see that? Oh my fudge monkeys! As we go to the match replays, that was ridiculous. Did you see how happy man? Wow! As uh, talking through the replays, as the the, the the ambulance is coming to happy man and helping him out the arena. What's happening? I don't know. I'm just kind of shocked at what just happened. It's like this bit. It's like, no, it's happy man coming with a candlestick. Trying to hit Ivan, and Ivan got the better of him. And then, where's he at? And here comes Ivan picking up the stick. And, and this is what caused the DQ, people. That's what I was going to say. You wanted me to announce it. Well, that was and it. that's where he basically speared Happy Man off the top. And, of course, the next match is S. Blaze taking on Bryce. And the, the people at the back need to take match replay off. People at the back, please take match replay off. The, take match replay off now. You're fired. Well, I'm not. They're doing it. Finally did it. <laughs> Finally listen to me. Jeez. Sometimes about people, like Karamba. But I guess, I guess, I suppose with his entrance, to be fair, they were probably worried trying to get Happy Man out there and the ambulance and the, the medics to him, so... That's probably why they left it on by mistake. They were like distracted what literally just happened. So, what's your thoughts on this? Is Bryce going to become the new IWD World Champ in one time? Or is s Blaze, like he said, he's taking Bryce's opportunities just to get a beating off s Blaze? I don't know, because I don't know how I feel about Bryce at the moment, but I really don't like s plays either. Well, you have to pick one of the other. Can't pick either. 
Well, that won't work because one's going to walk away with the title tonight. One's going to keep the title. One's going to become the new champ. Or stay the new champ. That's what I said. One's going to keep the title or one's going to become the oh, new I champ. Because obviously he gets DQ'd, he beats Bryce. We, we get a double count out, whatever. He, he walks Bryce away the title. Bryce is so mean lately. But if Bryce wins, we I have mean, a like champ. He's almost meaner than Happy Man. And at least with him now, he can get his, what he wants to say out quite quick. But Happy Man just takes a long time. <laughs> Happy Man takes a long time to get you nowhere. You could probably have four conversations with somebody else with his length of one. But he gets across what he wants to say, that's for sure. And eventually... But it gives him more airtime. That air should be time. his catchphrase. Eventually, man. No, he's happy, man. And I thought his catchphrase was basically like, sad days, people, or happy days for me and stuff. And I'm the longest reigning extreme champion of all time. You know, know. You know he says he could be the two-time longest well, reigning champion. Who do you think's going to win? I don't know. Oh, beautiful. Okay, on top of the candlestick. I don't know personally because S Blaze proved to everyone. Oh, as Bryce took that amazing uh, throwing elbow, proved to everyone at, at the, the last pay per view, evolving Pitbull, evolving striking that amazing cage match that he won fair and square, beating two of the greatest of all time. Mm -hmm. What Bryce hasn't really done anything like that. So, in one way, I kind of want S Blaze to pull it off for the simple reason Bryce is just riding on his brother's coattails. Yeah. But obviously, if best place can pull it off. He has been won multiple time championships in other uh, companies, and basically, we can give him the competition that he craves with some really great IWD opponents. But he doesn't need a bigger head. No, his head's big enough. I mean, that's why we barely get him to the whole ring. Yeah, I was gonna say we barely get him to the arena each day. <laughs> that's why he hasn't flown away yet. Mm. And Bryce, obviously, he's stating he's the best, and this is his opportunity and his night to prove it. And of course, uh, so Dave made his no DQ, as that's why it's no count outs. Mm. And why the candlesticks already come into play. He wants a winner tonight. So when I say anything about the count outs, well, that ain't going to count. The count ain't going to count. So, do you see that? One moonshot from the stage. And he, he ended up falling off the stage himself. Yeah, I said he hit with such velocity and knocked him off the stage. So I don't know who that hurt more. And he gets all killed on the stage. Wow. What's he going to do next? Roaring, oh, roaring elbows, he was mid-air doing a flip into a, a Pele kick, I believe, and he got launched. And who do we have coming up? The insane one that was at himself, Gary the Livery! What was that? Gary, here we go. Hey girl, that is right, the guy with the class, the guy who thinks he's a wild animal, but even a wild tiger is not as mad, as insane, as crazy, as dangerous as the insane one, Gary. And that is why I will beat you, and as for Chris, you're not touching me, over than my fist to your face, my board of your behind, and as for Miss you, stop her. The show will be stopped when I end you and I hold the title above my head. <laughs> is Gary launching a singing career? What? Why? That's the same one for you. I didn't see him singing. It sounded like he was trying to sing. I know, he's having a good time. It's Gary. You never know what he's going to do. <laughs> mm. Okay. Oh, During that interview, we saw a paley kick that cut s Blaze open and he was lucky to go off the stage. And looks like they're going high once again, and we'll be going to the back of the mint to listen to Grasshopper. I'm assuming he will still want that that match with Core. And was it last week? I believe when he, he attacked him to basically uh, to try and stop him helping S Blaze, wasn't it? Mhm. Mm Why do they always have to go high? You, they always know that someone's going to fall from that height. It doesn't happen all the time. Yes, it does. Just most of the time. Give you ten dollars, it'll happen today. As you stated earlier, yes, Blaze, I already took Core out last week. This is about him as to my challenge, and until he does, like I told him, I told him last week, and I'll tell him again this week. Even though he's not here, I am going to take something very dear from him, and I am going to hurt him and do his steps. And this is on him. Remember that. Remember that. So let me get this straight. If someone falls, you give me $10. No, that's not what I meant. So I actually go on a hope of Superstar falls, apparently. Does it count that, you know, Happy Man fell earlier? So I, so I get $10 no. for that, if someone else falls, take it. Another 10 that's $20. That's not what I meant. That's what you said. Someone forces it out, give you ten dollars. I meant to say you'll give me I bet you ten dollars. That's not what you said, and it's on record, people. 
Look oh, at all the men! He all killed him into his knee, that was impressive. They always fall off! And I get $10 to do! No! <laughs> it was on record, you restated it! It's not what I meant, only have $5 on me! Well then you're gonna owe me and then the interest- Oh! I think you've got through the stage! What are Grasshopper's doing? Grasshopper's! How did he get there? I think he fell the stage, Grasshopper! He just literally just said we didn't even talk about his interview that he's gonna take something dear away from Core. I guess cost uh, S place his, his mentor the title would be something very dear because yeah. the core will not accept the challenge. And how is that? Uh, and if he, if S place loses because of Grasshopper, could you imagine what he's going to do to the core? You know, uh, you. Oh, he knocked him off! That's two people! That's ten! That's ten! We saw that be earlier! That's thirty dollars no, you owe me! No. I can run more! He stopped! What's happening? You owe me thirty! I said it wrong! <sighs> And look, he's climbing down, that's why he's being smart. Well, yeah, he's not gonna jump! <laughs> if he did, it'd be $40 for me! No! Well, he got 30. And, well, he, and, and you said you got 5, so if you don't give it me this week, that means next week to be interest. So you owe me 50 No! Uh, that is not what I meant! I got my words mixed up. Oh! He's coming out from the stage! You get your words mixed up all the time! I know, but Bryce, Bryce is coming out from the stage, people! The match is still on, remember? Where did Bryce left. Go? He left! And he got smashed in the face! Bryce is gonna take it this way, is he? Yeah. Wrong! Two! We have a new world champ, people! IWD world champ! Bryce just. He was no DQ, but. The interference. He stole it! Even though. He, there's no cheating! No I'm confused! Done. We have a new world champ! Mm. I don't know what to do! What, do, what? Speak for me! I don't know! I get my words mixed up when I speak! At least I get $40! No, you don't! By this week, 50 you I guess! Out. I get $50 by this week! You owe me 50 But look at this! This was ten dollars for me. But no, see, it was. See how he hit his arm. Then Bryce comes out nowhere from the, after going through this stage earlier. We had kind of a shot to, to basically as he turned around to his face and, and won the title. I, wow. See, this is why I don't like Bryce because of the stuff he's been doing lately. But like subscribe that good stuff and tune next week to Zyvatopia alongside Supernova Ten. Bye, bye.